is the King of Kings, the, of the Ancient of Days, the Unchangeable Changer, the one who said, Let there be light, and there was light. Let's bless His holy name. Give Him glory, give Him honor, give Him adoration. Thank you, Father. Almighty God, glory be to your holy name. We worship you, we adore you, we glorify your holy name. May your name forever be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. We well, lift our voice to Him and say, Father, tonight, give me your best. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Give me the very best you can give to any man. You always reserve the best in the last. So tonight, give me your best. Give me your best, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh Lord. Alleluia. Bless your name. King of kings and Lord of lords. The Alpha and the Omega. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you did last night. 
Glory be to your holy name. Father, tonight give us your best. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us someone shout hallelujah. Shake hands with two or three people and prophesy to them and say, I'm getting the best tonight. And then you may please be seated. God bless you. Well, more good news. Today, God added to us eight more children. (laughs) Six boys and two girls. So the total now stands at 75 babies. 47 boys and 28 girls. Let the boys roar, praise the Lord. <laughs> and let the girls shout hallelujah. <laughs> Yesterday I deliberately didn't talk about sanitation. Because uh, yesterday was a destiny changing time and we didn't have time to talk about sanitation. Now, as of today, the cleanest is Delta Province 3. Followed by Lagos Province 1 and followed by Bauchi and Gombe provinces. Number three from the bottom is Rivers Province 3. Second from the bottom it's a position shared by Oyo Province 8 and Nondo Province 7 at the very, very bottom is Kogi Province 4. <laughs> well, let me just add one thing. When I talk about dirty, I'm actually talking about those who score less than 90%. For example, number three from the bottom scored 86%. Second from the bottom, 85%. And the debtors, 84%. You have to be absolutely clean. And I want to advise you, if you fall into the categories of the lowest three by tomorrow morning, we will not allow you to come to next year convention. Cleanliness is next to Godliness, okay. So, make sure tonight after we finish that to put your place in absolute cleanliness so that you'll be able to join us next year. Tonight we want to talk about perfect anointing. 
Our text will be Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 Isaiah 10 27 And it shall come to pass in that day That his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder And his yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Mm. Anointing is a very powerful thing and it does quite a lot of things for the anointed. For example, anointing announces the presence of the anointed. It advertises the anointed. For example, in Judges chapter 16 from verse 1 to 2, Judges 16, 1 to 2, as soon as Samson arrived in a city, the old city had ah something had come in here in 1 Samuel chapter 16 from verse 1 to 5 1 Samuel 16 from verse 1 to 5 as soon as Samuel arrived the entire elders of the city heard about it and they came to him trembling. Have you come in peace? Or are we in trouble? When you read Acts of the Apostles chapter 5, and you read it from verse 12 to 16, Acts 5, 12 to 16, when people discovered that the shadow of Peter was healing the sick. As soon as Peter arrived in any town, they bring the multitudes, they ask the question, what direction is he passing through? At what time? So that they will know where to lay the sick. So that when the sun is shining from the left, they quickly put the sick on the right. So that the shadow of Peter may fall on them. And vice versa. I have good news for somebody who is going to be anointed tonight. From now on, when you arrive in the city, they will know you have come. Several years ago, I went to London to prepare our Sunday school booklet. And I wanted to spend some days quietly. I, don't, I didn't want uh, the members to know that I've come. So I will be alone. I'll be able to do a lot of work before they begin to discover. Within hours of my arriving, the telephone rang. It was this land, landline something. Ah, I didn't tell anybody I was coming. I picked the phone, and it's one of my children. Daddy, you are welcome. Ah, who told you I was coming? And she said, when we woke up this morning, the temperature was six degrees. Within two hours, it has climbed to 20. And I guess my daddy must be in town. Uh, only you can come to town and this will happen. 
I decree in the name that's above every other name that after today's anointing, when you arrive in a city, they will know miracles have come. And number two, you cannot imprison the anointed. You can't shut them in. If you shut them in, anointing will break the door. In Judges chapter 16 that I mentioned earlier on, Judges 16 from verse 1 to 3, when the people heard that Samson was in town, they shut the gate of the city against him. He said, hey, it's too powerful to be attacked by night. Let's wait till the morning. By the time they woke up, they discovered that the gate of the city had been pulled down by Samson. In Acts chapter 12, verse 5 to 11, Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11, Peter was in prison. In fact, he was sound asleep when the angel of the Lord came and brought him out. The, the Bible said the doors opened on their own accord. In Acts chapter 16, from verse 25 to the end, Acts chapter 16, 25 to the end, they threw Paul and Silas into prison. And they told the jailer, keep them safe. But you know the rest of the story. At midnight, Paul and Silas were just having fun, praising God, rejoicing. When God sent an earthquake, and the prison doors were flung open. After tonight's anointing, anyone who is trying to keep you locked up is in for a surprise. It is impossible to destroy the anointed. You can't tear him to pieces. You can't choke him. It's impossible to destroy the anointed. In Judges chapter 14, from verse 5 to 6, Judges 14, 5 to 6, the Bible says Samson went down to Timnath and as he was going a young lion thought he has found food and so he roared against Samson and the anointing began to flow at the end of the day it was the lion that was torn into two After tonight's anointing, anybody who tries to destroy you will destroy himself. <laughs> anointing gives victory to the anointed. Victory over enemies whether they are internal or external. In Judges chapter 15, from verse 9 to 18, Judges 15, 9 to 18, when the Philistines decided to wage war against Israel, and the children of Israel said, why are you here? Uh, and they said that they have come to take Samson. 
Oh, the relative said, no problem. We will hand him over to you. So, they came to Samson. We have come to bind you and hand you over to the enemies. Now, any enemy from within that is planning to hand you over to enemy without, the Almighty God will put them to shame. <laughs> Samson warned them. You want to bind me? They say yes. Hand me over to the enemies? They say yes. They say, I warn you. Don't try to kill me yourself. Because if you try it, um, I don't want to use my power to destroy you. They said, no, 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 we won't kill you. We won't attempt to kill you. We just bind you. Okay, so they bound him and took him to the enemies without. You know the rest of the story. He bound him very well, brought him to the Philistines. The Philistines began to rejoice. They thought, at long last, we got our enemy. But the anointing began to flow. That's why I'm looking forward to what God will do during the Congress. When we'll be talking about double portion. Before you knew what was happening, the ropes binding Samson were burnt as if it touched fire. And then he found the jawbone of an ass. Like I told some of you before, we are in war. And to win this war, you are not going to need AK-47. All you will need to be anointing and the jawbone of a cow. As the Lord lives, you will be victorious. <laughs> to cut a long story short, you know the story. Before the enemy knew what was happening, a thousand of them lay dead. And I'm sure the rest fled. So, the external enemies were destroyed. The eternal enemies were put to shame. After tonight's anointing, all the enemies from your father's side, all the enemies from your mother's side, enemies you never dreamt could be enemies, they will be put to shame. And the enemies without, if they don't repent, they just lose their lives. <laughs> so what we are saying therefore is this, anointing enforces jubilee. When you have jubilee, when God decrees jubilee, He makes He makes sure that He gives you the anointing to keep on enforcing your jubilee. For example, in Psalm twenty-three. Verse 5 to 6. Psalm 23, verse 5 to 6. He said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And then he goes a step further. 
he anoints my head with oil so that my cup can run over and then he says boldly surely goodness and mercy shall follow me for how long all the days of my life The Almighty God had already declared your jubilee. He has prepared the table now before you and before your enemies to enforce that jubilee. So that no enemy can tamper with it, he will go further tonight by anointing you with oil. That anointing will see to it. Number one, when you arrive, everybody will know miracles have come. Number two, anyone who tries to block your way, we pay dearly for it. <laughs> Number three, when enemies within discover that ah, things are getting better for you by the day, if they don't rejoice, they will be put to shame. Number four, enemies without who knew what you used to be, then they now see what is happening because things have started happening since last night. It will soon become evident. If they tried to tamper with your jubilee, they might not be around to tell the story. <laughs> Some of you might still be of little faith. Are you saying, sir, that that simple proclamation of last night? has changed my life completely uh, oh yes and I will give you a little illustration when you join the Redeemed Christian Church of God as a new convert and then you see the pastors Neatly dressed, walking up and down, preaching, and you say, Ah, oh God, one day I wish I would become a pastor. Well, it will take you some four years as a worker, winning souls, following them all. Etc. Etc. Then you start a church, and you become a deacon or deaconess, and then you spend another four years growing the church you started, establishing more churches, attending schools of uh, disciples, etc. Etc. And then you become assistant pastor. And then another four years, with all other conditions thrown in, finally you are recommended for ordination as a pastor. And the convention came. Going to be ordained a pastor. 
You arrived at the campground. They quarantine you. Put you away from up from the rest of us. You'll be fasting, you'll be praying, you'll be receiving some deep teachings. Finally, Sunday comes. And on Sunday, they bring you in. Be choruses, there will be Bible reading, there will be prayers. Finally, it is turn, your turn to line up. You line up, they anoint you with oil, etc., etc. Et You'll be waiting for just one minute in the whole process. After 12 years of waiting, you wait at that time where the gen- when the general verse will say, We ordain you full pastors in the redeemed Christian church of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And you say, Amen. And from that moment onward, what have you become? Say it loud and clear. Just one minute. Preparations of 12 years. Last night. Just one minute. Just one minute. We declared that your jubilee has come. Whether the devil likes it or not, your jubilee has come. And now, all that God wants to do is anoint you with oil to defend that jubilee to protect that jubilee to enforce that jubilee after that anointing of tonight even the forces of darkness will hear God say touch not my The only fellow who can destroy the anointed is the anointed himself. You know the story very well. Samson was the one who against all warnings from his parents from all the elders of this of the nation who just kept on doing his own. Following his eyes where the eyes were not supposed to go until he slept on the lap of the enemy. By the time he woke up, his contact with God was gone. And you know when they came to get him, he thought the anointing was still there. He said, I will go out as before. And the Bible said, he didn't know God has already gone. God has departed. And when the enemy got him, the first thing they took out were his eyes. I beg you, my beloved ones, 
make a quality decision now. What happened yesterday is not something you should destroy. That habit that you know is contrary to the will of God. Say bye bye to it now. Even before the anointing comes. Before the anointing, God prepared a table. He prepared a meal. A meal of celebration. A meal of rejoicing. A meal of jubilee. That's the only communion we're going to have first tonight. And then came the anointing. And so if there's anyone who even up to now, in spite of everything that had happened this week, if you are still joking with the issue of surrendering to Christ, I appeal to you, change your mind. Holiness is a must if you want to die with the Lord Jesus Christ. So if there's anyone listening to me who has not given his or her life to Jesus and you still want to do so, it's still not too late for you. You can come. And I will count from 1 to 10 because I can see the crowd that is in the old auditorium. So I give you 10 minutes or 10 counting to come and give your life to Jesus just in case there's anyone at all. If by the time I say 10, nobody is coming, then I will know. I will just go ahead to the Holy Communion service. So I'm counting now. One. Two. Just keep coming. I can see some of you very far away. Uh, just keep coming. Make sure you get here before I finish praying. Those of you already in front and those of you on the way, cry to Jesus Christ 
ask them to please save your soul ask them to please wash you clean with his powerful blood ask him to receive you into the family of God and promise him that from now on you will do his will only go ahead talk to the almighty God and please the rest of us let's stretch our hands to these people and pray for them intercede that the one who saved our souls who will save their own souls also pray that from now on they will be true children of the living God let's go ahead and pray for them those of you in front and those of you on the way keep talking to God ask him to be merciful unto you ask him to save your soul promise him you will serve him for the rest of your life Go ahead, pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Almighty God, I want to thank you once again for your word. I give you all glory and honor for all those who have decided to come and surrender to you at last. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Save their souls. Let your blood wash away their sins. Please receive them into the family of God. And from now on, every blessing of the anointing Let it flow out to them also And don't let them ever backslide Lord In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen Well I rejoice with those of you who have come forward Uh, The counselors will give you cards to fill As soon as you fill the cards You go back to your uh, seat and I promise you I'll be praying for you from now on by the grace of God. I, uh, in the meantime, I think the musician will give us some solemn music as the rest of us get ready for the Holy Communion. Over. When the like a river attended my way when sorrows like sea pillars roll what am I lost Jesus has taught you to say it is well it is well with your soul it is well Tonight, when you take the bread, all I want you to do is just praise God because your jubilee, physical, had already been declared. And I'm believing the Almighty God that whatever the enemy had damaged in your body 
If it cannot be repaired, it will be replaced. So you just take the bread and begin to praise God. The Lord Jesus Christ, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is my body broken for you in as you eat it Remember me This is my body I broke up for you And I see it Remember me I broke it for you In a time you eat it Always remember me That I broke it for you In a time you eat it Remember me This is my body This is my body I broke it for you In a time you eat it Remember I went to the cross Okay, one more time If uh, you have not been served bread Shout hallelujah Good If you have not been served wine Shout hallelujah Good, so let us stand, please. When you drink the wine tonight, I just want you to celebrate. Because in the day of Jubilee, there's always shouting for joy, celebrating. And the Bible says, wine is made for merrymaking. I want you to show God by faith that your jubilee has started. So as soon as we drink the wine, just go ahead, celebrate. Pastors, thank you very, very much for doing a very great job. You can return to your... Oh, well. Very soon you'll be... 
you'll be going ahead for anointing. So, I just want to take your own Holy Communion where you are. Mm. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. mighty name we have rejoiced and your rejoicing shall be forever please be seated pass the cups to the aisles so that the ushers can help us very quickly to collect the cups now we'll go straight to the anointing service. Now if you look around you, you are likely to find pastors 
somewhere in the middle of the congregation ready to do the anointing so you just look to your right or your left and see where there are these locations and go to the nearest one to you uh, those of us of course who are in the front we will come to the front and the rest of us will go to where the pastors are waiting uh, as soon as you are anointed if you have been baptized in the Holy Spirit begin to pray in the Spirit if you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit cry to God that His Spirit will fall on you straight away so that you too can begin to pray in the Holy Spirit God bless you over to you why by the anointing Jesus breaks the yoke by the Holy Ghost and power just as the prophet foretold this is the day of the latter rain God is moving in his power again By the anointing Jesus breaks the yoke say. By the anointing Jesus breaks the yoke Hallelujah By the Holy Ghost and power Just as the prophet said Oh, this is the day of the latter rain God is moving in his power again Oh, by the anointing Jesus breaks the Hallelujah by the anointing Jesus breaks the yoke Hallelujah by the Holy Ghost and power Just as the prophet said Oh, this is the day of the latter rain God is moving in his power again He is not by mouth, he is not by power, oh, by my spirit, says
the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Jubilee has come. Let the rock of our salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Hosanna, Jubilee has come. Let the rock, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Hosanna. My jubilee has come, jubilee has come. Hey, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. We shall bless the be. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, because my true believes here. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Hosanna, We sing Hosanna, Jubilee has come, Jubilee, and let the rock of my salvation be exalted. You are what? What do I hear? What do you hear? What do you hear? What do you hear? What do you La chale wao Ah on la ni pa pi pe tu lo wa so wo bo ni pi pe fu wa eh wa mi si wa si o wa 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 e mi mi mo Fire! 
Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost come on.
Jehovah. And let you marry. Ah, I depend on you. I can need a lot of Your covenant is sure. Yes, he never changed. My bow fear. I depend on you. Fire 
If you have not been anointed yet, you should move very quickly to the nearest place. I think I can see a few in the old auditorium. But those of you who have been anointed, I want you to cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, Let my jubilee be permanent. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Let my jubilee be permanent. Let my jubilee be permanent. Let my jubilee be permanent, O Lord. Let my jubilee be permanent, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. I said, so shall it be in Jesus' name. One more time, so shall it be in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, once again I want to say thank you. On behalf of all of us, I say thank you. For the declaration of our jubilee, thank you. And now for anointing us so that the jubilee can be permanent, I say thank you. And in your name, I decree concerning all these, your children, let their jubilee be permanent. Physically, let their jubilee be permanent. Materially, let their jubilee be permanent. Maritally, let their jubilee be permanent. Mentally, let their jubilee be permanent. Spiritually, let their jubilee be permanent. And I decree that from now on, your anointing will defend their jubilee. Your anointing will enforce their jubilee. That from now on, your anointing will announce them. (laughs) 
Anyone who tries to hold them captive after tonight, let your fire consume. Anyone who attempts to press them down, let your fire consume. Anyone who stands in the way of their promotion, let your fire consume. Anyone who stands in the way of their increase, let your fire consume. Anyone who stands in the way of their fruitfulness, let your fire consume. Anyone who stands in the way of their communion with you, let your fire consume. Father, bless their offering tonight. Receive it. Use it for your glory. And anyone who tries to stand in the way of their prosperity, let your fire consume. Let the victory of your children be complete. And let it be permanent. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. A very, very victorious shout of hallelujah. <laughs>